killed him that much Justin Thomas is more out again hand passed straight back same distance the hands between his body there Help chat Help face is on his spine angle maybe it's not open there but no more open than that uh left arm parallel hands are in front of that shoulder right I'm oh, gonna turn this because not quite as deep as guys look at that but think if he goes straight this way from here he's gonna swing over the ball and miss it but the cool part is we start doing some of the stuff differently on the downswing. We can play from a really high hands here and the left arm really out up there. Because um, the hands going this way, the start of the swing is turning. It's this right shoulder turning and this hip turning. Rather than going forward, we're talking more about the space on, but rather than going forward and tilting the hip and the shoulder as you go forward, um, that'll bring this club straight down this way rather than turning and bringing it that way. Um, not that we don't turn, but a lot less. We see him again. Hands a little less in. We still got five or ten degrees there. In front of our shoulder. You can see that you can still see the face on the right side of his club, and you're usually going to drop to the left side of the club. Kind of back in here. His book just always will stay. So it always stays. Let's see how it's still. Here now through impact. This is where you guys can have a, can have a lot more fun than you. you know, the right shoulder is just taking, and this right hip is taking everything and going that way with it. Watch this. Everything just gets sent that way. Yeah. You guys look at it and everyone's like, oh, it's deep. The shaft is deep. The shaft's actually right on the plane. We want it pointing at the ball. It's a little out there, but it's a little cut. We can remember. Anytime your 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 uh, left arm is parallel, back in here, the back swing or down swing, I should have You want to pointing at the ball line, the target line. He's just a little out there. That's a little fade alignment. And the steeper you are there, the more. So the, the plane's fine. It's not the plane. It's not shallowness. It's just the hands are way too out. The face is way too open. But I should have. Okay, see how you're out there. Watch for Justin. He's perfect here. Okay. You, can, you can preset it open five or ten degrees keep your shoulders square and level be way forward from face on and get the shaft parallel to the ground parallel target line or in if anything get the space on your spine angle you have so much fun hitting the ball hitting in and out that way rather than that way okay okay let's watch him through it face there he's a fader remember look at how quick he, he snaps that leading edge up faster than Rory does. The driver, he's in an iron there. Okay. I know we don't quite get the same thing, but that going this way rather than the path going this way and the face going that way, you can see the difference. You can no, no, imagine the difference there. How much more you can be able to draw and get into out on that ball. Okay. As long as this glove wrist stays flatter arch and doesn't break down and bend in this head stays outside the hands there you can turn that leading edge down as fast as you want to straight up and down never gets past that again we'd like to see the hands a little more disappeared there Pop it out she knows it is out and it's not past it's 90 degrees it's not past that 90 degrees i'll spare a little bit or you can the ground i'll spare a little the ground there okay you kind of throw it there to do it you kind of had to break this backhand down like we'll see more from face on um to do are these guys still this this glove wrist Flatter arch. Okay, let's see this part. Right out of here. Watch. Right out of the shoulder. It's already pointing at the ball and or just outside of it, right? Okay, the first time we see your club face. Getting edges here. Inside the ball. Again, this is even a touch shut, to be fair, but right at the ball would be ideal. And you can do this. Stop hearing your practice. Do, your, do some practice. You can just trace this. Look at your leading edge when it's right there in front of you and point it into this panel. You know, if there's you're trying to point at the target line between the ball and the target. Have a little channel there and just put trying to point it anywhere in there. Does that make sense? It's leading edge. Anywhere around this ball, between the ball and the stick is good out there. Anywhere in here is good. That's a little shut. That's a little open like you have it. Even that more turned down is gonna be a big help. And uh, and, uh 
that's it. Help you hit the start line, help you get it square, and then uh, it's going to add more distance and better contact balls. You'll be more forward when you do it. You know, you can see how much lower Justin's ball is coming out than yours already up here. Okay. And who's going to hit a seven iron farther, you know what I mean? It's going to go higher ultimately, but we got to bring that a little more penetrating there a little more early. Um, that's going to be, it's going to be so fun for you to watch this. Another good example. Look at this up here. He fades it. Crazy. But I want to show you, hands above the shoulder, look at how much tilt he still has. Okay? That's where we're going to start looking like a lot like a golfer when we get this face and keep this tilt helping us do to, to the uh, finish. Okay? See a difference there? A little more that way. You can help your hips do it. The hips can help you do it. The hips getting level. The hips will help you a little bit. Just hip a little more that way. A little more tilt there. We're not kind of like a bunch. A little bit more. Okay, the cool part about the shoulder tilt. Take him to finish. No, he still maintain it. Maintains his finish. Maintains it. Do a pretty good job finishing on the eye line. We're just having a lot of angle in the eye line to give you enough angle there. So a little more shoulder tilt. Give you a little more angle there. Um, this can be all the way forward instead of still. I like that it's banked, but you can be a little more turned there. Um, it's a little more rotated there. The finish, all the hips, shoulders, or the, like the the middle of the like the belly button and the middle of the shoulders there are pointing to left field, middle to upper deck. The hips and sh and the hips in the middle of the chest are, are um one as much as forward as they can get, as much two up the sky as they can get, and three pointing at the left field um the bleachers over there, mid to upper deck. Over there. Just so you could be a little more turned there, where he's going to face him more up there. Here he's going to face him more that way. Okay, let's do, let's do some more.